Hello, my name is Prashant and I'm a technical marketing engineer in the Cisco SD-WAN product team. In this video, we're going to explore the Day Zero Quick Connect workflow, which is part of the SD-WAN UX 2.0 workflows library. This is a guided and intuitive workflow which helps to onboard the SD-WAN devices in an easy and quick manner. This feature is available in the SD-WAN release 20.6, 17.6 onwards. The workflows library can be found in the vManage main menu. Select the Quick Connect workflow. The Quick Connect workflow needs the following to be configured. Organization name, certificate authorization, vSmart, vBond, vManage controllers. If not done already, clicking on the link provided here opens up the vManage settings page where these can be configured. Click Get Started to proceed with the workflow. This workflow helps to create device templates to onboard Cisco iOS XE SD-WAN devices using ZTP or PNP and to generate the Bootstrap CLI configuration for WAN settings. There are three steps in this process. Syncing the device inventory, selecting devices to bring up, adding and reviewing the device configuration. The device inventory can be populated either by syncing to the smart account or by uploading an authorized serial number device list. If the device inventory has already been populated, this step can be skipped. In this demo, we will be uploading a CSV file containing the device list. The progress of the workflow can be reviewed at any point by clicking on Review. A progress bar is also available which indicates the progress of the workflow. The uploaded device list here has five devices which can be seen here. To view the status of the device inventory sync operation, click on the link provided. This will exit the workflow, but the current progress is automatically saved and can be resumed later. To resume the workflow, select the workflows library from the vManage menu. The saved workflow can be resumed or deleted and a fresh one can be started. Let's resume the saved workflow. In the Select Devices to Bring Up page, individual devices may be selected or all the devices may be selected at once. Click on Next. This brings us to the Add and Review Device Configuration page. Here, some of the device configuration is automatically populated. These can be, however, overridden. By default, the IP configuration is selected as DHCP. This can be modified and an IP address and a default gateway can be specified. Let us leave the IP configuration as DHCP and provide a system IP, site ID, and a DNS server. These configuration values may be entered in this page or the entire device list can be exported to a CSV file and the populated CSV file can be imported to this page. In case of large number of devices, this can be quite helpful. The workflow progress can be reviewed here again and also the status can be checked on the progress bar. Click on next. This brings us to the summary page. We can review the changes and the configuration of all the devices. There are two options here. One is the preview CLI and the other is the edit option. This shows the CLI configuration for each of the devices that is going to be pushed. This can be reviewed as well. Edit option can be used to modify the configuration as necessary. If all good, click on deploy. Congratulations, you have brought up your devices. From here, we can launch the dashboard or view the deployment status of the tasks. The device configuration is being generated here. It will be eventually pushed to the device once the device is reachable or becomes online. The configuration devices page shows the newly added devices. Another way to add these devices to the vManage would be to upload a vManage list in the configuration devices page. Using a CSV file, here three devices have been added. You can use the Quick Connect workflow to onboard these devices as well. In the Quick Connect workflow, select the Skip for Now option in the Device Inventory Sync page. Select devices to bring up. Here we have three devices. All the three devices are selected. Add the device configuration as required.
use the preview CLI option to review the CLI configuration that is going to be pushed to the device. Review the summary and click on deploy to push the configuration to the devices. The configuration gets generated and will be pushed to the devices once they become reachable. Thank you for watching. Do check out our YouTube channel, Cisco SD-WAN and Cloud Networking for more.